All right, what do we got here? We're in the desert, obviously. I'm really curious to see... You know what would be really interesting, and I'm not sure how you would do it. It'd be interesting to see this course when it was in the original, like, the 1993 version of it. Because I suspect it's miles better now because the designer's better, the hardware's better, all that, right? Ooh. What's going on with the pool? Is that just a shadow? Or, like, a reflection or something? Yeah, it must be. It's reflecting off the clubhouse, I think. We got our pool, we got our hot tub, small patio there. Nice. Oh, yeah, Baby Bull's definitely been here. There's rocks. There's rocks. Yes, sir, Q. I couldn't resist a 28-year-old course. And then the driving range is over here. Okay. Some carts. He's gone for the cart path. And then we're, yeah, it's a canyon, right? It's Saguaro Canyon, so it's looking the part. That road goes out to nowhere, which you'd expect. Not, nothing there. Okay. Let's see. I hope so. Um, feels like a classic golf game course. Yeah, I could see that being the case. Um, really well done desert course. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, U UBR, am I reading that right? 2K14, cool. Vlad, how's it going? Mm, sculpting here is maybe a little on the rough side, but this is, I mean, as much as this guy has designed a zillion courses, or for a zillion years, this is the first time in this course, right? And so there, there's going to be tools he's not completely familiar with. Um, it's a hell of a centerline hazard. All right. So going right, f oh, from what I can tell... It's pin dependent which way you go, I think. If you go left to a right pin and you go right to a left pin. That's what I'm seeing. Anyways. I wonder how far Driver went in Jack Nicklaus Signature Edition in 1993. Like 250 or something? 260 maybe? Okay. Relatively generous driving area there. It... it, it Plays a bit wider than it looks, I think. 270? Hmm, wow. They thought everybody was Davis Love the or Fred Couples back then. He was the uh, big hitter. Hey, Charlie. Your dumpster fire's next. Don't worry. Oh, 270 with rollout. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So probably carried about 250. It's kind of what I remember back then. The blot of ball and everything. All right. Hmm. Yeah, functor sculpting's a little on the harsh side, but we'll get over that. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, there was other guys that could hit it, Q. Like, couples hit it forever. It's just... Tiger was swinging out of his mind and could actually keep it on the planet. Nicholas was long in his day. Eh, nice. Still don't know how fast the greens are because I haven't yet. I mean, it, it looks very clean. I agree. It looks like a golf course. The kind of course you would expect to... Sh I mean, somewhere in Arizona, you'd expect to show up and this is what you would play. Hey, Danny. Exactly what this looks like. It's very cool. Oh, and he's gone with this kind of interesting T-shape as well. I don't mind that. Okay. Jeez, we have tempo already? This could be scary. Hey, who that? Oh, absolutely, Kyle. Absolutely. Um, he tore his knee, his left knee. The reason why he ended up going to Haney is that he wanted to find a way to swing without tearing his knee apart. Um, but running five miles with friggin' army boots on wasn't really the best plan, I don't think. Okay, pretty hilly. 
Oh, the wind just switched. Yeah. Yeah, that recoil could get cut out of control when you really wanted to bust one. But if you, if you watch um, his old, like his two, 2000 swing, watch his left knee at impact. It just straightens. Like snaps. No wonder he tore that knee apart. Yeah, that's true, Alan. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, because you're only going one way, right? So, um, there's a lot of guys out there that believe in swinging, um, just even if not necessarily hitting balls, but if you're right-handed, taking a lot of swings left-handed, the ball balance things up. Yeah, cricket would be the same. All right. Yeah, cart path is... The cart path is what you expect from a cart path in this game. Um, it's just so ridiculous to have to make the, the way you have to, what you have to do to make them good. I mean, there's the odd little kind of, eh, kind of newer to this game designer, not new designer, but new to the game. But like, that's a 15 foot drop, but otherwise it's pretty darn solid. I mean, there's some areas where it's a bit aggressive. Might have just found one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was a guy that when he needed to and it made sense, he would pull it out and hammer at Q, but he didn't most of the time. Um, that's that. I was, yeah, Ernie always amazed me watching him hit a ball. I mean, he's massive. I actually walked up to him at a range once and he's just huge. But it barely looked like he was swinging. And yeah, he hammered it. Okay. Hmm. So the ridge... Feeding down here, water's over there. Although that's deserty. Oh, and then we read slow right in the water. <laughs> nice. Can I go back? To, no, I'm I'm stuck on this stuff. Yeah, right, the retaining wall looks pretty good. Retaining walls here look nice. Use a run up. Eh. It's the ridge that bothered me a little bit. Um. It's a short par five, and I think the ridge was kind of there to. Kind of toughen it up a bit. Now the shot I hit, pff, whatever. Yeah, one could argue that Nicholas was a bit too conservative, but then Tiger was at times too. Like when he won at um, Hoy Lake, it wasn't necessarily that hitting iron was the best play. His driver, he didn't know where it was going. Hey Daniel, what's up, buddy? Um, senior tour, yeah, yeah. Um, it scares me, the, all the guys that are out there that I grew up watching, and that in four years technically I'd be eligible for that. Yep. No, um, Nicholas. I mean, one thing Nicholas and Tiger share was their their mind. They were great at strat strategizing their way around a course. Um, and that's that's why they had as many wins and high finishes. Okay, it's an interesting par three. Kind of tucked into the mountains here. Again, you see that in the mountain in the desert a lot. Yeah, that was always gonna be a bit faster after I slowed one in the damn water. What are the green speeds anyways? Okay, 169. That's reasonable. I like the ridges are relatively subtle. Um they're not crazy. Maybe, maybe these mounds are a little too big back there, but I don't know. That seems to be the style. 
Um, I don't know. And we missed a straight pot, that's about right. Oh yeah. Daniel's back from holiday. Oh. Um, is Rich around? Somebody stole his idea. Just kidding. Fleetwood and Rom. Huh. Uh, for me, it's Oosthuizen. Is there two? Oh, there's two greens up here too. I don't know how I feel about this two green thing, unless it's just like that's a winter green. Um, I don't know. It's creative, but at the same time, I've never seen it before. So. Really cool view from here, though, with that ball up against the mountains. That looks really neat. Yeah, that's an awfully aggressive hill we've hit it onto. Whoa. Uh, don't go overly long here, otherwise... You're screwed. We're 24 feet up, and we're on this massive uphill. Hmm. Hey, Seb. Thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate that. I always love hearing Joey in here. Oh, that makes sense, Daniel. Yeah. Nostalgic is right. That's one of the things I wanted to see. Um... The unfortunate... So I don't think I ever had... I'm pretty sure I never had this game. I might have had Jack Nicholas's grade 18. I guess 18 favorite major holes or something like that. Pretty sure I didn't have one where people could design courses, and even if I did, I don't know how it ever would have, how I ever would have found them back then. Um, so I never really played any design courses until TGC 19, quite honestly. Okay. Yeah, the looks from the tees are great. Ah, get over that. Okay. Oof. Oof. This isn't the nice pin. Um, makes sense though. Hmm. Well, let's take our three wood at it and see what we get. Oh, we. Oh no, we haven't. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if it was possible to keep it on the green, but hey, Rooks. Um. But I mean, it's par five, and then the drop off behind makes sense. I like the screen complex for par five. Um, I mean, it asks a question. But you don't get, I mean, I like it where you're, you're in this deep ass bunker and you're going to really struggle to get up and down rather than water. There's something about that I like. And then if you go long, you're way the hell down the hill. cool yeah I know Axel you know how you can get rid of those how you doing by the way Yes, sir. Amazon money is my best favorite kind. Okay. Uh, Charlie, then... So after this, it's Charlie's course, then... What the hell is the order? 
Charlie's course. Oh, it's Cole Rulers today, not um, not A Granger. Sorry. So Charlie, Cole Ruler, and then Maddie. Um, no, I'm gonna hit driver. Hold it. Yeah, that's one thing I do like about desert courses, Cahill. Um, the difference in the colors, particularly when you play like in the winter, it's it's just it's so different to anything we ever see here. Oh, it's quite the ridge. Yeah, ridges like that are not my favorite, but I don't know how much of that is just a me thing and how much of it is, you know, a genuine issue. You do have the uh, back backstop too, which I've chosen not to use. It's just that right there I don't like. Right. I was like basically here. Landing here, or here, or here, you end up there. Pretty much all the same. Which isn't, I mean, I, I, yeah, I don't, I just don't like that binary nature, is all. Um, but at times, it does work in certain situations, and this hole's short enough that you should be able to get it up there. Um, hmm. I don't know. Might just be a me thing. How you doing? Thank you, Axel. I will. Happily. No, uh oh. I mean, Yobi's hovering. Uh oh. Look who's here, boys. Half of her face. Oh, no, her whole face now. Yeah, probably, Alan. Um, yellow might have been a bit better. Make it a little bit less binary. Are you playing hide-and-seek now, honey? Oh, she's... No, she's... Oh, oh. oh, here they go. Mini obi emotes are flying. You have to squat? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, Charlie's happy. Somebody close to his age is here. Well, not really. He's 15 now. Yeah, I know. I call her. That's funny. Oh, dang it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. Now she's... And she's out. All right. Well. And she's out. No camp this week. Um, Next week, she's going camping. Like, camping, camping with her mom. Because I hate camping. <laughs> it's like, forget it. Um, and then the week after, I don't, yeah, I think she's done camps for the summer, and then school starts day after Labor Day for us. So, second Tuesday in September, usually. Anyways. This area here is going to be a bit interesting. Like, the framing from the T is great pretty much everywhere. Oh, we might be testing that slope out. Oh, yeah. Going back to what Adam's saying, that last ridge maybe yellow would have been better. So it doesn't. I just don't like it when every shot ends up in the same spot. That's all it is. <laughs> Green screens are fun, man. Oh my god, we're putting too? This is crazy. Okay. So we have room to lay up if we want it. Should be able to clear this. It's a really cool look to this place. Like I said, I'm curious to see what it looked like in the original Jack Nicholas game he designed it in. Alright. 
Yeah, the bunkers are just a little bit kind of sinkhole-ish and coal-y. Kind of like sinkholes, whatever the hell the best way to say that is. Um, I don't know if that was intent. It might have been intentional to make them really deep. Make them actually penalizing. Or it might just be getting used to the designer. I don't know. Oh. Brian is an old website. Oh, wow, cool. Depressing. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're very. Yeah. Oh. How long is this place anyways? Uh, it's a course called Saguaro Canyon. Um, fat Crippy. Um, a guy designed this originally in 1993 for the original Jack Nicholas Signature Edition game. And he created it for this. Which is pretty neat. 7100. Okay, I didn't think it was very long. I know that's what she said too. Um, see, I think this would have probably played better with the shorter clubs that that original game would have had because you wouldn't have been so easily able to just bash it over. That's okay. That's okay. Not everybody can see it. I mean, sometimes people are on phones and stuff, right? Damn. Let's go visit the bunker. The only people I make fun of for not seeing it are people who are here often and I kind of know them. Otherwise. And then they usually tell me, well, yeah, you often forget to update it. So makes sense. Oh, look who it is. Guy who comes into my discord and trash talks the crap out of me. Hey, Sai. So what's the, so come on you, but I thought they were the hammers. I don't get the, the eye. Cute and confused. Irons? I thought they were the hammers. Ah, oh, you Londoners make no bloody sense at all. This is a neat little par three. Iron hammers. Okay. All right. Well, I guess that sort of makes sense. Oh, pain, suffering. We didn't quite get there. That is a deep friggin' bunker, too. Oh. I don't mind the green for the shot, either. Um, Again, really, that ridge, I just... I get it for this hole. Uh, next, Sai. We're gonna tear him a new one. Planting will basically be zero. Uh, he's around. Axel's around. Okay. Yeah, is this from the T, like from behind the player, the course looks great. Uh, we got two holes right beside each other here. Yeah, all right. Mmm, not the right shot to hit. Oof. Cart bath. Nope, big bounce. Oh, there we go. Oh, right off the other side of the fairway. Uh, 
Um, how far is this gonna go? Yeah, there's some neat, there's some neat views in this course. Really cool. I do wish the ridges were a little bit less prominent. That's the only thing. But they're not like bad. There's just a lot of them. Oh, that's what the I made it is. Okay. Well, so now I'm not going to really put too much thought into your riddles if I know that's the case. Hmm. I do wonder if Brian um, lengthened the course any from when it was originally created. Because it really plays short. But it's not necessarily criticism. It's more of a curiosity. I mean, this course is 30 years in the making, damn near. So it would make sense if you move some T's back. Well, the fact you did it on a switch gives you some credit, Charlie. Yeah, this has got a, like a very PG West, and you know, it's it's. I'm thinking this is more like California desert now. This has got PGA West written all over it. Because PGA West has these same like really extreme bunkers and stuff like that. Um, hmm. right in the gap as always. Fly and run. Oh. Hit the ridge. Gone. Oh. Oh, pin hop in there. I'm curious if Brian's going to continue designing this game. I hope so. I hope so. There's some really cool ideas here. Hey, Slotty. Oh, it's drivable. It's 270-ish. <laughs> All right. Let's try and sneak a three-wood up here. That's the best shot I can hit. Going to kick right a little bit? Oh, is it ever? Oh! Just glorious. Yeah, I hear you, Q. That makes sense. Oh! Um, I did something today that every, I mean, it's, it's every father's favorite thing in the world to do. And that is go and buy a birthday present for a kid you don't know. Because your kid is going to their birthday party tomorrow. Um, and they were saying people are buying Christmas toys already because of the shortage of the shortages of just stuff. I was, I was pretty darn surprised by that. It's friggin' August and people are already worrying about... Getting stuff for Christmas. And she was saying, like, their back room is usually packed and it's bare right now. So. Hmm. 
But yeah, I, I've never seen a PS5 available here, Vlad. Interesting little par three. Um, I was right in between clubs, which is, you know, basically the way I play golf. It's nice. It's nice though. I like. I like the. Uh, I like the design. Yeah, I'm glad I don't have an interest in getting a PS5. Honestly, now I've got a PC. Um, I, I have absolutely no interest in it. I play this enough. I don't. I don't need a console as well. I actually even took the PlayStation 4 and put it back on the TV, and it's more Mini Obi that plays with it, but um, I also was looking for um, a way to play Apple TV, like the Apple TV, the, what Ted Lasso's on. I was looking for a way to play that on my TV, and that's all I had that would work, so. Damn. Hold it. Play out of the bunker easy enough, though. Yeah, I, I hear you there, Alan. I mean, mine didn't really, except for the fact that half the time I have a kid here, so. Um, she doesn't need a huge amount, thankfully. At least not yet. Alright, we finished with a par 5. I feel like this course would benefit from being a bit longer. And I really wonder if, again, it's just the same yardage it was back then. And it's just the game now. The distances you can hit the ball. It's, um... It's just, it's a little bit getting a bit stretched. But otherwise, I think it's pretty cool. Damn it. Was it? So he did lengthen it? Okay. I was curious about that. I, I did ask earlier. Nobody said anything, so... I just left it. Very PJ West style bunker there, too. Okay. So it's only, it's only a couple hundred yards. Whoa. It's like 200 yards has been added to it. I'd be curious if it was a bit longer. There's just... Basically, any time there was a potential to, to carry something, it was easy to carry it. At the same time, I don't know what clubs Brian uses. Um, or what difficulty level he plays it on, so... It could be that with the way he plays it, it plays exactly how he wants it to. It's a good course. There's, I mean, some people will find it a bit extreme with its, um, uh, with the, the sculpting and stuff, but I think it's intentional. I think it's kind of a PGA West kind of, a uh, um, feel, which is cool. Hey, Charlie, you might be able to play this from the Reds with your carrying at 150. Very neat. Very neat. Um, really cool story to it. Really cool that a course that started out way back when, before Charlie had ever even been thought of, is now in this game. I think that's awesome.